Hey everyone, welcome back to Imagination Tech. My name is Jeff. So you know I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now and uh, I've gradually over the years uh, tried to upgrade or upgrade my uh, editing skills as well as you know the video and audio quality in general the, the production quality of all of my videos. So um, I've always started with uh, really the basics, you know, just a, just an iPhone, a smartphone, um, got a $50 gimbal, then slowly upgraded from that. So I just want to show you, um, you know, a quick glimpse into what happens behind the scenes and show you the gear that I use in my setup. Stay tuned. At the heart of my old vlogging system, I have this old iPhone SE and it takes really nice videos. It takes uh, great, uh, you know, it takes 1080p uh, videos and also goes up to 120 FPS or 240 FPS even if you're on 720p. So I'm using this, I, I've used this for a lot of slow motion for B-roll and, you know, all of the blogging, vlogging stuff and, uh, you know, the bench videos. So this is uh, what I used to use. Now I also have this uh, Andor, you know, uh, cell phone mount and uh, I used to have a handle for this so it, it, it screws into the bottom and it's just a regular handle but since I've gotten a gimbal I used to have a $50 gimbal so it's really cheap but it was you know it did the job so I've since upgraded to this Moza Mini S and uh, they've now rebranded this as the Moza Mini S Essential this is actually my second unit because uh, I broke the first one and sold it off and bought another one uh, but uh, there, ha there is another version of the Mo of the Mini S that has a telescopic handle. So this is a you know this is a full fledged uh, gimbal, and um, and this is what I uh, used to use now. It uh, takes really really nice smooth uh, video when you're doing your panning, or uh, you can even do like you know tilt, smooth uh, stabilized tilt, uh, even a roll. It also has you know uh, like the uh, I forgot what, what, they, what they call this mode, but it you know it really makes those nice trippy um, uh, you know rotation shots. I have a full review of this. Uh, they updated the, the app a little bit, but uh, essentially it's still the same. So it came with this uh, you know tripod mount, so that if, for example if you're doing that motion time lapse, you can just stand it um, you know on, on on a flat surface and you know it let it do its thing for five, ten, or you know several minutes. It became really easy to shoot really nice cinematic b-roll ever since I've gotten this. It, I, I bought this separately and uh, this is an L bracket and you screw it here at the bottom. Nice thing is you can still screw the tripod uh, mount here and what this does it it gives me an additional hot shoe, two hot shoes actually so I can put my uh, you know my uh, shotgun mic here and there you go uh, you have a really nice uh, vlogging setup the audio is really clear because it's facing me uh, or if I need to you know interview a subject and just you know flip it around and it's point, pointing forward I also have this Andor W49 LED light it uh, you know slots into that secondary uh, hot shoe mount so I can have both light and a, mi a microphone I haven't really used this uh, a lot because uh, I found I find light a little bit harsh if I'm you know if I'm using it for the bench or something but I have used this that on occasion so it's still a nice thing to have in your toolbox when I'm on my bench I'm doing my I'm recording my build videos I just use this smartphone bracket that I showed you earlier I attach it to the tripod I have it mounted like this and I can um, you know I'm not sure if this is really removable but uh, I've, I've gotten it removed I screw it here on the back and now even at on the bench I can use my directional mic like this so I have my phone here it's recording and uh, it's the, the shotgun mic is still pointed to me so that I really have clear audio or sometimes I just use this lapel mic and you know I, I, I clip this onto my shirt and plug this into the phone and that really provides a much clearer audio than if I was just using my iPhone um, you know on its own the main drawback with this system is that 
the iPhone doesn't really, you know, I don't think it ever had any removable storage. So if you need to get your video files from your iPhone to your computer, you either had to transfer it over Wi-Fi, connect it to iTunes. What I use is this uh, iPhone micro SD adapter. So I, pl I uh, plug in a micro SD adapter there, plug this in here and transfer the files over to the micro SD card. I transfer it to the PC and then I delete the files from the iPhone. This is just, I think this is just 16 gig or 32 gig. So it fills up really, really quickly. There's not, you know, if I'm doing a, a really long build video, I have to pause get the files off and then uh, delete the files from the iPhone and then start recording. It's really, really time consuming and I wanted to, uh, a better solution than that. But you know, for general purpose use, iPhone is a really, really good camera. So that's uh, something I could recommend. If you already have an iPhone or you know, a smartphone with a, with a good camera, then you know, it's, uh, it's all you need to get started with uh, you know, vlogging or doing videos. So I got myself this DJI Pocket 2, which I've been meaning to get since it, since it came out last year. First, it solves the problem of storage because it has a micro SD, uh, you know, micro SD card slot where it saves all of your photos and videos. With the iPhone, it uh, you, know, you know the storage has to share you, you have, it has to share its uh, space with your other apps and with iOS itself. And uh, you know you don't really get that 16 gigs of storage just for your videos, but this one, all of this 64 gigs, which I don't think I will be able to fill up really quickly. Um, is dedicated for all of your photos and videos. It's going to be a breeze to transfer to the computer. The nice thing about the DJI Pocket 2 is that it is both a camera and a gimbal in one unit, one, you know, uh, palm size unit. So it, fit, it fits in your pocket, fits in your hand, and, you know, holding the button for two seconds and it's already on. So it, it, it turns on really, really quickly. And I got the, uh, I got the creator combo, so it came with this uh, do-it-all handle. And what it does is it's actually a receiver for this wireless lapel mic. So this is where I recorded my, uh, you know, my old vlogging setup. I just uh, clipped this onto my shirt, and you know, it even has this uh, little dead cat for uh, wind reduction. Just clip it onto my shirt and transmit the audio wirelessly to the DJI Pocket 2. So that is amazing. So this thing can shoot 4K up to 60 FPS. So it can take both photo and video, and you know, with uh, three taps of this uh, of this button, oops, three taps, it flips and uh, you know uh, shows you uh, the opposite side. So if you're just doing vlogging, you can just flip it again. It also has uh, three modes. One is the tilt lock, where it's you know uh, the pitch is uh, is locked at a certain uh, angle. It just follows you on the yaw. And it has uh, FPV mode where you know it follows you on the roll, the pitch, and as well as the yaw, of course. And the follow mode, which is more typical of a gimbal, where you know it stays horizontal, but uh, it follows you on the pitch and the yaw. It also comes with this, uh, you know, really really tiny tripod, so it just screws on the back of that carrying case. It opens up like that, so that is really really amazing. It's really really compact. Last, but uh, one of the neatest things about this uh, DJ Pocket 2 is it comes with this wide angle lens and it, it, it's magnetic, so you just, you know, put it there. And the DJ Pocket 2 recognizes that uh, the wide angle lens has been installed, so it's, it's great if you want, you know, just to, to capture a little bit more field of view, especially when you're vlogging or something. And when you remove it, you know, uh, it knows it's removed. When you turn it off, it even knows that you know it's not supposed to fold it the the regular way. So the lens is pointed outwards so that it doesn't you know bump into the the, the gimbal housing. But if you remove it, it you know it hides itself really really nicely. There is a there is a place for the wide angle lens in the case. It's also magnetic. So this is a really really cool. Um, you know, it's a cool gimbal and camera in one. And I'm not going to do a review on this uh, because I think Playerjet did, already did a wonderful job. He's the one who convinced me that, uh, you know, that this camera is the right gadget for my needs. So I hope this video has been informative. If you've been planning on starting up your own YouTube channel or you just want to create a vlog, whether it's in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, or whatever, wherever. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you already have a digital SLR or you're just starting out with a smartphone, just like how I did. So the most important thing is to just start. You, know, you can always improve the quality of your videos over time, but if you don't get started, you're, you know, 
you can try to make it as perfect as you want in the beginning but uh, you know you're never gonna get started it's the same with uh, you know with FPV you can you know save all of your money try to buy all of the latest gear you know try to practice on the simulator but the most important thing is to start you know to get your feet wet to just you know just fly crash that quad make a mistake crash that lose that quad break it replace and repeat so again the most important thing in this hobby or any hobby for that matter is to just start right so i'm going to leave you with that and as always keep building and keep flying